Hi, Doug with thechickenpoop.com. Today's video I'm kind of excited about because we're getting our summer compost pile ready. A uh, lot of videos out there on, on how to make compost, but I do something a little bit different than a lot of the composters out there. I add biochar to my compost. Before we get into what is biochar, I hope you subscribe as well as hit the bell icon so that you will be notified of our future videos. So the question is, what is biochar? In simple terms, biochar is agricultural charcoal. Purpose of it is to create a sustainable ecosystem for the microbes and nutrients in your compost pile. Let's do a quick FAQ on why you want to use biochar. First question you might have is, what is the difference between this and that charcoal that you buy over at the big box store? Biggest difference is, this is unprocessed. The stuff you buy there is processed. It has things in it like borax, lime, starch, coal, things that you might not want in your garden. So your next question might be, how much wood did I go through to produce this amount of biochar? Probably close to a ton plus. Uh, to get, figure out about what, it's gonna, what your yield will be, you will get about a 20 to 30% yield from raw wood of biochar. It's a lot of work, but it's great stuff for the garden. Today we're building this compost pile with the following ingredients. The first two ingredients I'm going to use is biomass and biochar. I add these two in a one-to-one -one ratio. Think of biomass as a forest floor. Leaves, twigs, pine needles. I also include grass clippings in this. This is our carbon source. Our next ingredient is manure. I like to use the following. Chicken, rabbit, alpaca, livestock which includes cows, donkeys, horses. This is our nitrogen source. I try to have a 3 to 1 carbon to nitrogen ratio when the compost pile is finished. One thing I never add to my compost pile is cat or dog manure. Our next ingredient is coffee grounds. I will be adding this each week over the next month and a half. I get my coffee grounds from a local coffee house. This is an excellent source of nitrogen for the compost pile. The carbon to nitrogen ratio is higher at the beginning, which is why I add nitrogen over the next month and a half. My next addition is vegetable stock waste. I like to use the vegetable stock method. The vegetable stock method is anything that can go into the stock can go into the compost, including onion skins. I also include tea bags. Something I don't add are meats, fats, dairy, because it can attract pests. I do add my coffee grounds and vegetable waste at the same time each week. Another optional ingredient is leftover sugary drinks, including alcoholic drinks in moderation. That includes fruit drinks, sodas, old tea, anything that can add moisture to my compost pile. Something I like to add at the end of my compost build is a cup or two of unsulfured molasses to give the microbes a jump start of carbohydrates to build their colony. My last ingredient in this pile is calcium. This is an optional ingredient. If a soil test shows a deficiency, in calcium or a low pH, meaning it's acidic, definitely use it. There are a couple of ways to acquire it. One is you can buy the calcium at your local garden store, or the way I do it is after the eggshells are used for breakfast, I cook them and then grind them into a powder. Another way to tell without a soil test is if your tomato plants are getting blossom end rot, sprinkle a little calcium around the base of it your plants will appreciate it. You may be wondering, with the compost pile being layered as it is, is it cooking properly? 
I turn this pile at least once a week during the process of it maturing. This helps to mix all the ingredients by the time it is finished and ready for the garden. When my pile temperature starts to drop is when I will turn it. I try to get the pile to around 150 degrees for a couple of days to kill weed seeds. And I like to use a compost thermometer. It helps me know when I need to turn this compost pile. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when our next video comes up. See you next time around.